Welcome back guys. Today we are going to start a new series of Palo Alto Firewall with PanOS 10. So guys this one is the uh, web page to log in on the Palo Alto Firewall PanOS 10. Let me try to log in and then we will be seeing this what what new feature we will be getting uh, PanOS 10. Okay so guys this one is the recently launched operating system on of Palo Alto this one is especially for automation machine learning okay so guys wait it will take some time to load your web page Okay, so you can see our web page is almost loaded. So guys here you can see whatever the new feature in the PanOS 10 and this one is you can see guys PanOS 8.0 is now end of life on October 2021 sorry 19. So now let me I don't want to see this page again. So let's close and remind me later so guys this one is pan os 9 totally different platform okay but still we have all these options are same there is no changes in this so let's see same this column 2 column 3 wizard let's see we are getting here any extra wizard or not as it is like your pan os 9 or 8 but here guys you can see here we are getting two new uh, wizard here one is this logs and this one is logging in administrator okay so login in administrator yeah this one is logs i think logs okay login to administrator yeah we have also these uh, wizard in our pan os 8 and 9 okay so now let's see what's the new feature inside this so here in the device tab Today we will be see what's the new in the device tab and interface. Basically guys this uh, device tab we have lot of option here in the devices, device tab we will cover this thing in the next video. Okay but today we are going to shortly cover what is the new thing in the network and interface. So guys as you can see here right now what are the one new thing I am getting here that one is SDN. Okay this feature is basically introduced in the uh, Paul Alto Pan OS 9.1. Okay, you will be get this feature also here. If I click here on this SD WAN, okay, so guys, for this we need separate license for SD WAN. Okay, without license we cannot use this. Okay, so definitely I will make a video on this how to use this and uh, comment me if you want to see SD WAN feature in the Paul Alto. So put me in the comment box. Okay, then we will start work out on that. After that, this tunnel feature as it is okay, VLAN, there is nothing in this. So now let's see in the interface what what how many type of interface we can configure here in the PanOS 10. Okay, so guys, you can see here. Yeah. Interface, interface type. We have here tab mode. Tab mode, HA, virtual wire, layer 3, layer 2, we have still all these type of interface here. So guys, let me try to configure one interface as a layer 3 interface. I want to check we are getting IP address on this or not. So virtual route, we have here one default virtual route. So let me try to create zone. So I'm going to create directly zone from here. Oh guys, now we have a lot of option in the zone. So let me check this. This one is our van zone this one is a name and log we don't to want to puff forward okay interface it will be add automatically interface okay zone production we have already there this one is the enable user identity we have also there okay this one is uh, device id acl okay new feature here all these are the new feature here uh, guys include list exclude exclude list all these are the new feature here in your for all the panels 10. 
Okay, so our <coughs> zone is defined it here. After that IP address, so right now guys, I didn't have any fixed range for the IP address, so I'm going to use DHCP client. Okay, so IPv6, we are not going to, this one is a SD WAN interface, but we didn't have license for that. That's why we are not able to configure this. Okay, but I will work out on this also. Okay, and you can see here status is disabled. And guys, here interface management profile. Generally, we use all uh, this one option. Okay, and just for testing purpose. So let me add here one interface management profile. And you can see here uh, nothing new here in this. Okay, so let me give the name ping profile. Okay, ping. If you want to allow some specific address, let me allow uh, my PC IP address. So let me check. But generally, I got IP address on my PC. That one is config 100. Let me allow 192.168.1.100. Only this IP address can ping. Okay. So this thing is done. Now let's see the comment. And guys, here still save option is same. Now let's see what's the changes in comment. We have everything is same. So let's comment. Okay, so our commit is in process. We can close this also. Okay, tell that guys. Let's see something else new here. This virtual wire, virtual route, IPsec tunnel. So guys, this GRE tunnel is new feature here. Okay, previously we didn't have this GRE feature here. Okay, global protocol product MDM. Okay, so guys, I have to work out on this. What is this MDM and uh, clientless app, clientless app group? Okay, these are the new features. And I think so, guys, this uh, LLDP is also new. Okay, so I think, guys, to check the total dif um, proper difference between PanOS 10 and 9, I have to access one more firewall, which one is the with the PanOS 9. Okay, so in the next video, guys, I will use this method. Okay, if you are feeling this one is the right, so definitely I will be use that thing. So guys here, but you can see our comment commit is showing 0%. Okay, so let me check here, show. Okay. Yeah, guys. Guys, basically this one is taking too much time. Okay, previously the when this one is showing 0% and that time what happened, I recently turned on this firewall. Okay, so there is one uh, auto commit process. Okay, which one is working first time when you turn on your Palo Alto firewall. So that process is running. Okay, so that's why our the second process, this one is taking time. So even you can see here auto commit. Okay, so this process was working. So that's why we are not able to uh, uh, execute our this commit okay so this one is taking too much time maximum as per the Palo Alto documentation sometime it will be take 30 minutes okay so don't worry about that and guys so the, if you want to see this process uh, for to see this process you have to open your uh, firewall through CLI okay let me show you uh, what I have to access my firewall through putty 192.168.100.150 Open one Okay Admin ASTF 
okay so guys this one is my firewall CLA access okay number of fail attempt you can see here zero okay it will take some time here guys so now you can see our DHCP client we are getting this IP address okay 100 or 2 IP address so guys now we will try to ping uh, to our Palo Alto from my base machine so now let's try ping 192.168.1.100 sorry our Palo Alto firewall is this okay so you can see guys we are able to ping our Palo Alto firewall okay so now let me try to ping from my Palo Alto firewall to my test PC okay ping source 192.168.1.100 oh sorry here in source we have to mention our Palo Alto firewall IP address after that host 192.168.1.100 okay we are able to communicate with our test PC and after that we are able to communicate with our gateway okay so now let me try to ping with the uh, global DNS oh wow guys we are able to ping okay guys so you see here I didn't configure here routing but without configure routing we are able to ping our DNS that's the why reason because what happened uh, <coughs> on this interface we are getting automatically default gateway okay so if we go here in the routing default so routing table guys still in the routing table we didn't have option to configure EIGRP okay as you know EIGRP is also now open standard protocol so if we check here static routing we didn't have uh, we didn't have here guys any static route but you can see if you are using um, on your WAN interface as a DSCP client so it will be take automatically uh, default gateway okay and with, all, with that gateway you are able to communicate as you can see here this one is the default default route okay and guys this default route you cannot see inside your routing routing okay you can see we didn't have here any uh, any entry for our default route see here we didn't have any entry but if we check here in our routing table so you will get here default route okay so guys this one is just little bit overview of your pan OS 10 okay so now guys as you uh, if you are watching my youtube channel so you can see there i had already complete, uh, completed entire Paul Aldo series so now just i want your favor just uh, put in comment box which which lab you want to see on the pan OS 10 so i will be make the video on that lab okay so guys tomorrow we are going to explore more feature about this like you can see here guys in this we are getting this log still guys I'm, i didn't have idea about this why we are getting all these log here Okay, let me try on this side app. So guys, this log, I don't know guys, what, uh, why they have given all these log on this some option. Okay, so I have to work out on this. And uh, a lot of things are guys here new in this. Okay, especially in the monitoring tab guys you will get lot of new monitoring tab here okay in this so definitely guys we will see all these options in the next video till that guys take care bye